and so greetings everyone to another minecraft video and for this one we have a bedrock edition and previously i tested java edition so as you can see from the settings everything is maxed out also i made sure that i'm using maximum amount of simulation chunks which is 12 for bedrock edition so first of all what surprised me the most is the cpu utilization just look at that, almost all 32 threads are fully utilized. Of course, most of those threads are busy rendering the render distance, but yeah, it's still very impressive. Now, I wanted to make this as close to as possible to my Java video and tests. So I used Chunker app to convert worlds and Unfortunately, they are not fully one-to-one -one converted. Some AI is missing and some other things are missing too. But for the most part, they are quite similar in other tests, like those benches that I did previously. And initially I thought maybe I should just merge the RTX and a stock edition of Bedrock, but since they are so much different, I thought maybe I should just do two parts. So for this one, this is completely stock Bedrock Edition. And for the last Minecraft video, I will do the RTX mode. Now for this test, you can see if you compare my Java Edition to this one, that the frame times are so much better with this version, at least in this map. I also thought about trying to match the settings with Bedrock and Java Edition, like setting 32 chunks. But unfortunately the simulation chunks are very different and I cannot set 32 on Bedrock Edition. And I'm only limited to 12. So because I couldn't really match those scenarios one to one, I thought maybe just put it at maximum settings and leave it be. Now unlike in previous map where the frame times are very smooth, this time this is not the case actually. And you can see from some effects my FPS drops significantly. So as I said this is not completely the same scenario as in my Java edition because the conversion is not completely the same. So few things will be missing but yeah the frame times jumps very highly in this one. And now this one is kinda underwhelming I have to say. So before testing I really thought that this is going to work so much better than on Java edition and yeah at the end it actually crashed the whole Minecraft <laughs> so I understand that this is a really boring test but I really thought that including this one might be interesting too if anyone is interested from the previous video and as you can see with each explosion the FPS drops significantly and it seems like the game is struggling to figure out the physics of the TNT because I don't think this should be working like that. So anyways, I leave you with this test. As always, thank you very much for watching. I will also make an RTX mod with this Bedrock Edition in separate video later. But for now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.